Welcome to another Seth Yeos Reviews. Uh, today we're looking at the Nui, Nui uh, doorbell camera. Wireless doorbell camera with a uh, base station and chimes. So let's check it out and see how it looks. I'm not very, I'm not super familiar with it. I checked out the website. Uh, so it looked like it had a lot that came with it. So, so far we got some decent boxing. Uh, let's see here. Good instructions. Should be pretty straightforward to set up. Let's see. Okay, it's really decent boxing. Very secure. Okay, so this looks like the doorbell itself. Protective covering. Yep, there's the camera. There's the motion sensor. There's the doorbell button. Uh, let's see here. I really like the packaging. That's the, that's the wall mount. Screw that to your wall. Good, so it's not like some kind of sticky tape or anything. Don't know what that is, but we'll find out. A uh, secondary wall mount that has a kicked at an angle so if you wanted to place it in a you know location that required you to put it at an angle that might actually be useful for the intense the intended setup that I have for it all right that's all that's in there all right so we got the base station this is what goes inside of the house that, so you hear the speaker plugs into the wall all right. Guess if you don't want to go Wi-Fi, you have the option for an Ethernet cable. That's good. No, that's nice, actually. That's pretty decent. All right. A lot of packages. All right. Batteries and accessories. So we have extra Ethernet cable. Heavy, heavy duty battery. That's decent. Hopefully it has some good life, life expectancy on it. Some good charge time. Charging cable. Looks like a standard, I don't know what they're called, but the uh, new Android chargers. So I got several of these now. That's great. And what do we have here? Gotta admire the packaging. It's really secure, but not going overboard like that and this looks like your bag of screws okay cool all right so we have the exterior doorbell battery cables your speaker inside the house and a couple of different wall mounts those are really nice i will go through the instructions and set it up and then we'll get an idea of how how it works uh for me, the biggest hang-up is going to be whether or not, you know, how the uh, app holds up. Because the apps on these things can really make or break them, in my opinion. Oh, it even has room for an SD card. And great. So, in case your Wi-Fi goes out or you don't have internet connection, you can still store any videos that come up. Okay. Okay, so now that we got everything set up, all we have to do is plug this in and I'll go through the app, use a screen recording app to show the setup for the application.
Okay, voice test. I don't know if you can hear right now. Yeah, it's super quiet. I can hear like really, really quiet something. I can hear you better now. I'm not sure if that's the app thing, but it's it's like super quiet. It's like you're miles away or something. So the app is a little bit problematic with the uh, sound or something, I don't know what that was, but uh, there are some settings in here, for example the doorbell sound, uh, quick responses, you can record a message in here, so you can, uh, you know, just click a button, you don't have to actually speak and that's gonna output it from the speakers. Night vision, didn't think it has night vision, but it has some uh, stuff in here, I think that's the default recording when someone like rings the doorbell then it records then it shows what's going on and that's pretty much all there is there's some kind of uh, sharing thing in here yeah you can share the account so someone else can also see that oh okay that's uh, motion detection that's also pretty cool human shape detection detection zone now you can set all this up and then you just tap go live and then you can view the thing and yeah that's the speaker on and off for some reason it's really bad quality not sure what's going on then this button in here next to the HD uh, changes the orientation and the HD to 2k it doesn't work because uh, he simply has a bad upload speed and that's why it's buffering I'm pretty sure that's the issue because uh, with HD it works pretty much okay but on the 2K it starts lagging because of his upload speed. And then this is the record video and that's the take picture button and that's the ring the doorbell. So you can remotely ring the doorbell if you want. Okay, so after a little bit of playing around with it, it only took a few minutes to get this all set up. It did take uh, probably about a good hour to charge up the battery and to update the software and the firmware for the uh, camera and the base station. Uh, take it out. I took it out, set it up, and tried it out for a little bit. A uh, few issues that I did find with it right off the bat. It does not, even though it has a great quality camera, a uh, 2K HD camera has a, an amazing wide angle view lens. So you really do get to see a whole, you know, the, the entire area in front of you. Um, it does not handle live broadcasting very well. The buffer rate between the camera to the base station, back to your phone, there is quite a bit of lag in between there. If you're using it for a live camera to speak with whoever's coming to the door, you know, expect you to have some kind of buffering and delay in between, you know, what you're seeing and what's actually happening. The main issue I do have, however, is there's no storage. Uh, it's a subscription-based service. A dollar a week to three dollars a month for the cloud service that connects to your Wi-Fi. You upload the videos to the cloud; it stores it. I'm not going to waste any money on a you know storage service cloud, all that when I have you know Google and Amazon and everything else that it could have used, or it could give me the option to use my own you know FTP or cloud server, or send it to me in an email. You know, it could have done many, many, many different ways to avoid using you know cloud storage service requires a subscription fee and me personally that's kind of a deal breaker for me i wouldn't purchase multiple of these so that's that's, that's up to you um other than that it was pretty clean straightforward easy to set up easy to install it's not a camera that you could easily walk around with but obviously it's not intended for that you know like i said there's a lot of buffering when you move it around uh, it doesn't handle motion very well, but when you set it up and just keep it still, it does really good. It, it picks up very quickly. I checked, you know, I tried it out there on my, you know, chickens and small animals, and they all triggered it, you know, fairly well. Myself, I was pretty good distance away from it. And like I said, it has a 158 degree field of view. You know, it goes. It has a really nice, nice wide angle lens on it. The battery took like an hour to charge up. I would assume. With the amount of use it's going to get inside the building, it'll probably last several months. But other than that, it seems to be like a, you know it's a great little camera. Um, I wish it didn't have the subscription fee. I wish it had some alternatives for the video storage, things like that. 
But for what it is, it seems pretty great. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and definitely check it out.